Welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 2. Time for another bonus episode. We're going to try and do the special scene with Emma this time. Just like the other times, back to the dormitory. Sorry for being late, Reen. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. Oh, don't worry about it. I just got here myself. Finished everything up then? Yeah. Everything seemed to be in order over at the old schoolhouse, too. <laughs> and for once, even Celine was acting considerate. <laughs> you don't say. Being here like this really feels like old times, doesn't it? I made so many fond memories here in this building. I can't even begin to count them all. Yeah. Hey, seeing as we're already here, you want to take a little walk around inside? I'm curious what state we left things in, aren't you? Well, that sounds like fun. And of course, they go to Crow's room. Back then, I never would have imagined that Crow was an Awakener, or that he was working with Misty from Abin time of all people. Well, that makes two of us. When I think about the trial we had to pass, it's hard to believe he did something like that alone. It really makes you wonder. I mean, we had his help when we did it, too. His determination must have been incredible to take on something like that by himself and come out the winner. And I have a feeling he'll take all of us on by himself, too. That's what it comes down to. If we want to bring him back home with us, we'll have to show him we're even more stubborn and determined than he is. <laughs> I think we can match him point for point on that as long as you are there. And as the witch responsible for guiding you in Valimar, I fully intend to see everything through to the very end. Thanks. I'll be depending on you. Reen, I've been thinking lately. Somewhere along this journey we've taken together, I finally felt glad to have been born a witch. If I hadn't, I might never have enrolled at this academy. And if I'd never come here, I would never have met everyone in Class 7. And... I wouldn't have met you. I'm really glad you did. With all we've been through, if anyone besides you had been guiding me, I doubt we would have come as far as we have. I'm happy to know you think so. Before I came to the Academy, and even well after I'd started here, I lived to fulfill the duties expected of me as a witch. I'd been that way ever since I was little. But all that time, I had no idea of the real significance behind everything I was doing. My life as a witch was so all-encompassing, couldn't really see anything else. Emma. It was after I started here at Thor's that things started to change. I may have come here to keep watch over the fate that awaited Valimar and the one he chose as his Awakener, but I feel so much more than that now. Instead of just watching over you, 
I want to stand with everyone and fight alongside you as an equal. I don't want to be someone who just watches things happen. I want to be there with Class 7, no matter what's in store. I'm happy you're with us. You've always been looking out for us, doing as much as you could and supporting us in more ways than we realized. I doubt Class 7 would be what it is now if you hadn't been a part of it. So I think I speak for everyone when I say thank you for sticking it out through all the good and the bad. <laughs> I owe you guys a lot of thanks, too. Some days, the only reason I was able to keep doing my part as Class 7's president is because everyone... Well, maybe... Not everyone. It's because you accepted me for who I was, Reen. You must have had so many questions, but you were always so patient and kind. Oh. <laughs> Emma. The only reason I feel like I can fill the shoes of an Awakener is because I have you to guide me. When I first found out what I had to do, I was confused. I didn't understand what was going on, really. But with you by my side and showing me the way, I started to feel like I might be able to really do it after all. Is that so? Emma, I love you. No matter what fate has in store for me, I've decided I'm going to face it head on. Because as long as I have you with me, I know that whatever the challenge, I can rise to meet it. Will you stay with me? Of course! <laughs> what would Grandmother and Vita say if they could see me now? <laughs> this isn't exactly a respectable path for which to take. Maybe not, but who cares? We're old enough to make our own choices. And even if the path is a rough one, I'm ready to stick it out. Me too.